welcome to tech recipes hello friends in this video we are going to see how to read and process a csv file using a java streams so let's get started csv stands for comma separated values a, typ a typical csv file contains a multiple records which are separated by comma now in our example csv which contains cars related data you can see various car models values are here on each line and individual values are separated by comma optionally csv file also has a header which basically specifies a name for individual columns for example here is the name of these first values in each column now csv file can be opened in other programs like excel and where you can see it tabular representation of a same csv file when we are writing a java program we need to convert this csv file into a java pojo so each individual field in this csv file we need to map it to individual field in a java pojo class now we are going to see how to parse a csv file using a java string so when we are reading a csv file with java streams we are getting an individual line one at a time and as we read one line we are going to parse it and convert it to, the, to a java pojo object now let's see how we are we are going to do it so we will use files.lines api which is basically which will basically read cards.csv and give us a stream of a string now since we don't want to use or parse a first line which is a header line we are going to use a skip to skip the first line then we need to parse the consecutive lines and convert them into a car object but to do that we are going to write a class or a method inside the same class get car and in this we are going to split this line using a comma and use those parsed fields to create a new car object and return it if if we don't get all the, exactly four fields we can throw exception here saying that this is an invalid invalid line now this method get car we are going to pass it to map we can write a lambda expression here but here we are going to use a method reference and we'll write a separate method for doing expression now map method basically will take the string and convert it into a car once we have this car object uh, we can basically print it or we can collect it into another collection uh, we are going to see both these example now so let's look at the code now for our code example i have created one cars.csv file which contains some car related data now first step that we will do is we are going to create a new java class car which basically will map the fields inside this csv into a java object so i am going to create these fields first private final int for year and private final string for other fields like make size now we are going to use intellij code generator to generate remaining code so you can always right click and use this generate option or shortcut alt insert to generate various code first we are going to create a constructor using all the fields and then uh, we are going to create a getter methods for all these fields Select all fields and click OK. We are also going to override a string two string method so that when we print it, we will get a good output in a console. Okay. Our car model class is ready. Now let's create a new class to parse the PSV file. 
specified string class here i am simply going to create a main method first thing that we need to do is re start reading from this uh, csv file so we need a path to that particular resource so i have given a path to cards.csv file here now we are going to use file files dot lines and pass it to path now this lines method uh, basically throws an i exception so we add an exception here and it returns us a stream of string now as we have seen our first line is a header and we need to skip it so we will first skip first line here once we skip it we need to map individual string to a car now so to do it uh, we can write a lambda here what we can do is we can create a fields array we are going to split this line using a comma because the values are comma separated and then we can run a new car object here we need to pass all the four fields the first field is integer so i'm going to use integer dot past fields zero now rest of the fields we can simply pass them in. okay now after we map it we are now getting a car object first what we'll do we will simply print it here method reference and then we will see how to collect it inside a list of cards let's run it quickly you see we have parsed all this csv element and we have converted them into a car object uh, now let's make it a little bit better here uh, we need to add some exception handling and we need to move this into new separate method now to do it now let's ex use the intellij's extract method to create a new method out of this you can see we have we have created a new method here and instead of doing a lambda expression now we can simply use a method here now here we will also add another code to do some exception handling for example if a fields dot length is not equal to 4 which means there is some problem here we can actually throw in runtime exception saying that this is an invalid csv line print a line here would be easier for debugging now let us try to test this error problem now to test it let's add a, another field here a bad field and then run this program you see uh, it has thrown an invalid csv line exception because we added the bad field here so we added an extra field so let's correct it now we will see how to basically collect this in a java list so we simply add a list of car here call it cars or car list let's import the class and instead of for which we are going to use collect dot collector collectors to list In this way we can get a list out of the csv if i run this you are saying we created a list that contains individual car object now let's see what other operations that we can perform on this car streams now let's consider a scenario where we you are trying to filter only records which belong to make code 
so let's see how we can do it so in streams we have a method called as filter filter method basically allows us to filter records from the streams which are satisfying the condition that we are passing here what condition we are going to pass we need a make to be ford so we will pass a condition saying that ford dot equals car dot get make since we have mapped the string that we are getting to a car here we are getting a car object in the as input to the filter method so this way we can filter the records now say you need to group the elements say you have the cars.csv file you need to group them by individual make so we can do it uh, using a collect and with collect we can use basically collectors dot grouping by we can pass field by which we need to group these elements so if we only pass collectors dot grouping by we would get a map of a string which is a make and a list of car but if you want to you don't want to do it you a count of individual make then you can use another function called collectors dot counting and pass it the grouping by and what we will get is a map of string long the key here is a make the value here is a number of occurrence for that particular key now let's see the code for both filtering and grouping example now let's look at our original example uh, where we are printing basically all elements of a csv file we have mapped them to a car object and then we are printing them all now let's see we want to filter these element so we will have a filter condition here as we said we only need a ford so we can do dot pulse car dot get make and if this condition is satisfied only then uh, we will consider the object or printing so let's run it and see what we get as output if you can see here we have only received four output here here make it four now we need to see another example where uh, we are basically going to count the make number of elements in individual make so for that uh, let's remove the filter here we are going to remove the for each we are going to use the collect operation collect operation takes various arguments like collector dot do list but we don't need list here but we are going to group the elements grouping by a grouping by takes multiple arguments for example you can pass only the key by which you need to create group the elements say make or model whatever you want and if you see once we do it we will get a map of thing comma list of car here what we are getting a map let's try to print and see first what value we are getting but what we are getting here is a map which is grouped by e as a make the individual elements for make are put into the map you see our map uh, which i have printed here has a key as a make say for mitsubishi and there is a list of then all the mitsubishi cars here if you see for other for example there is a kia here in kia it has listed all the car now let's say instead of uh, like converting these into map i need to know the count of individual individual make so we are grouping by make here and then we can also pass another argument collectors dot printing we are getting here map of string come long now if i run this again and try to see 
what are the values that are there in the map you will see we will get the count of individual make the ford has four cars tesla has 23 bmw has two this way we can use grouping by to get a some statistics or different results on the themes that we are getting so this was it uh, for this video uh, all the code uh, that we have written here is uh, committed to the github repository and you will find the link in the description uh, so thank you for watching it and i will see you in the next video